Hey, 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 welcome back to another session of The Life with Z, where we talk about everything mind, money, hustle, and personal development. We are helping you to get it. As you can see, today's setup is very, very different. I am in my office at the Wash and Go Hair Salon, which is one of our businesses. So you're gonna be hearing a little bit of noise here and there. Please forgive me. We are also currently situated next to a construction site. I know those guys, they don't have any respect for me. Today's session is going to be all about going from passion to profit. So me sharing my entrepreneurial journey with you guys, this side of me of who I am and who I have been for so many years is something that I haven't shared with a lot of people and I feel like I'm in a good position to share how I was able to turn my passion story, my skills and little things that I knew how to do into profit. And you don't have to be a big mastermind. You don't have to have a sponsor as everybody thinks you need to have. I'm here to tell you that you are that connect. I started my career as a little girl who wanted to study law, right? I wanted to become a lawyer. That's what I went to university to study for. But at the same time while I was studying, I also had a bit of a creative side that was just getting bigger and bigger. I was discovered um, by Premier Models Management as a model when I was 16. I didn't know what modeling was all about. So I was learning a lot of things along the way. And that's sort of been a, that's been a theme in my life, is just finding myself in circumstances where I'm able to learn and acquire new skills. Fast forward to 2012, I came to Nigeria for a couple of months with an online entity. It was, it was, it was an online entertainment, um, package that myself and my friend were putting together on YouTube and we were basically just interviewing Nigerian celebrities and we wanted to be able to show people that Nigeria is popping. From there I heard about an audition for a brand new TV series. I moved, did everything, came out here and it was a bit of a dud. I had to find a new job, a new means of you know making money and so I heard about the Ebony Light TV audition. And I went for it, and to my surprise, they took me. They wanted me to come on board as a producer and as a presenter, things that I had never done before. Presenting, yeah, I was like, wow, this has got to be one of my biggest scams yet. The rest of the team, we developed The Spot, which is still one of my favorite shows today, you know, daily talk show with myself, Lamy Day, and Ibuka. And we developed E! News as well, which was our um, daily entertainment news show. We did everything from you know, coming up with a concept, scripting, music, editing, to set design. Again, things that I had never done before. I was able to take these skills and approach people and say, hey, I can produce something for your brand. I can produce a package that will promote your brand or um, I can produce a talk show for you as a personality. I had the production skills and I had, you know, all the necessary tools and people that I needed to be able to put a production and a package together. So that was one way of me taking my passion and being able to build profit off of it. I just literally needed to look within my network. Who are my friends that work for um, you know, these companies? Uh, family members, what businesses do you have that I can create a package for? And little by little, I turned myself into an authority and that's how I was able to take those skills and make it into a profit. You are your network. I could call some of those people and say, hey, how are you doing? Let me know what you guys have going on, how I can add value. And that's how opportunities grew for me. Sorry guys. Now you're hearing um, a hairdryer go off. <laughs> okay, so getting back into it, it got to a point where I was like, do you know what? I want to do something a little bit different. I want to add more value. I want to have more impact. And how can I do that? I felt like business was the way that I was going to be able to do that. I come from a very uh, business orientated and entrepreneurial family. My mother has been an entrepreneur since practically the womb. Um, she's done everything from import to exporting to uh, foods and um, textiles to agriculture and farming. And this is a woman who studied fashion design, who came from Abekuta to Lagos and literally just she grinded it out. My father is also an entrepreneur. His business is in waste management. Before that, he was doing mechanics and engineering. My sister was a beautician and is a makeup artist who uh, literally set up her business from the ground up. And she's also on YouTube, so I'm gonna do like a quick plug for her. So I've always had a buzz for business, but it was at that point when I was in Lagos as an actress and all of these things were happening that I was like, you know what, I want more. I want more than just being on the red carpet and taking pictures. 
and that's where some of my businesses were able to stem from. I started off with a social media management agency called Think Social. What we did there was literally develop content and strategy and implement it for brands who had nothing and had no clue about the online digital world. So we would engage influencers for them, we would build strategies and campaigns, and again, using my network, I was able to work with the likes of Smooth FM, Jet West Airways, Daily Need Pharmaceuticals. And some of these clients, I didn't know them personally. From just DMing people, sending them a message, telling them this is what I do, giving them my pitch deck and saying, I'm available, this is what you need and here's what I can do for you. That allowed me again to take something that I really enjoyed, which was creating, marketing, branding, and being able to make money from it. Another business that I can share with you guys in terms of um, turning your passion to profit was uh, one that was now connected to my mother, which was her business that she's been running for over gosh, almost about 30 years or so, and that's in textiles. So like I told you guys, my mother is a trader. We had two stores in Valuable Market. She would travel all the time, Korea, China. I think, you know, that's it's from her that I partially get my traveling bug. This was a woman who literally left the comfort of her home um, to a completely different country, connecting with people, speaking to them about what she wanted, what she was looking for, and she built this textiles business. She needed to get to a point where she was communicating with her clients in a new market that were now online, something that she knew nothing about. And as a director, it was now my job to be able to come up with creative ways that we could now speak a new language to this new market that we wanted. So I was able to run campaigns, structure our business in such a way where we had packages that were desirable to this new market. And that's how we were able to take Lolitex from a business that was literally running on its own tradition, running on its own culture to a business that had transformed and that had adapted with the times. So I think it's only right that I talk about where I am right now. This is Wash & Go Hair Salon. I am a co-founder at Wash & Go with my partner, Volane Ulkani. We had looked at you know, the salon experiences for women, what was going right, what wasn't going right. And, you know, we were able to share our experiences, me as a natural hair woman and her as a, you know, permed woman and a wig wearer. We came up with a simple concept salon that focuses on taking care of your hair using healthier techniques and practices. With Wash & Go, I knew I'm not a hairdresser. I'm not in the hair business. Again, leaning on the skills that we had. Our skills were in business development, in branding, in marketing, in networking. We use all of that to build this together. Where we had you know, gaps that needed to be filled, we acquired people and expertise to be able to fit it for us. We were able to break even in less than a year, in literally a couple of months of opening this business. And our network literally isn't filled with celebrities. Setting up Wash & Go was a prime example of literally reaching real people, being able to extend and expand those relationships for a mutual, you know, a mutual benefit. We built this thing from ground up. Legal, trademarking, copywriting, operations, budgets, financial protection. I am very happy with where we are. I'm happy with the growth that is coming. I'm also happy with the fact that we're in a position where we're able to pivot and we're able to adapt to the current times. The pandemic has left, you know, a lot of people lost, a lot of businesses lost, but what I will always say is that guys, this is the moment where you transform. This is the moment where you learn to now turn the key in a different direction and ask yourself, what do people need and what can I give to them? I can't wait for us to discuss more skills like, you know, raising capital, finding the right team, finding the right partners, the right people, the right business. All of that is going to be shared with you. And I do have something that I'm really, 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 really excited about. Hopefully in the next two weeks we get it all together. And that is for those who are looking for opportunities to be able to take a passion, turn it to profit with very little. I'm going to be showing you guys a guide and a way that I have done it as well to be able to take very little and turn it into a lot. This thing that I'm speaking about is for those aspiring business owners, for people who have skills and that's everybody essentially i'm going to be sharing with you guys ways in which you can take those little skills and make big money i know you heard that part you heard the part about big money but maybe you didn't hear anything else
Make sure you're following us on all of our socials and you sign up to our mailing list. I'm gonna try and put something in the comment section. What are the business ideas that you wanna you know, get off the ground? What skills do you have? What passions do you have? What are your questions? Uh, we can figure out ways to incorporate them into these videos. So I will see you guys and it's time for me to head out. I hope I wasn't too scattered. I hope that you got everything I wanted to say. You got that message. I need to now go and see to some clients and I'll see you guys. Thank you.